Hello! <laughs> Welcome to Lost Saga Garage. My name is Hunter. This is... My name's Chris. This is my name, Chris. Well, That's what you said. This is my name, Chris. This is my name. My name is Cole. How are you now? How's everybody doing? Top of the... Are you picking your nose on no. live? Facebook Live, you're picking your nose. What in the... It's a pride. normal thing. I wasn't picking my nose. I was... Okay, so <laughs> moving on. Uh, Chris is out of the shot. You need to pick your nose at all anymore? No, I'm good. I'm, I'm just asking. So, today, we're going to be taking a look at a Ford 9-inch. We're going to be taking a look at uh, a couple of things with some body work we're doing on Mabel. And we're going to take a look at our brand new toy. The Rechessery. Right. You can roll your R's a lot better than my wife. That's what she said? I don't, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> is that is that what she said? Okay! Let's take a look at the 9-inch, also what she said. Ah, Ford 9-inch. Why does everyone like these? Because they're strong. Super strong. They're expensive. People like spending money. They're strong, though. Yeah, hold uh, really good horsepower. People are using Ford 9 inches and Chevys and all sorts of things. Wow, you admitted that. Yeah, I did admit that. Thank you very much <laughs> for asking. So this one, uh, we just tore apart this morning to see what was up. Axles are okay-ish. The bearings uh, on the axles, one's a little stiff. Um, so really easy to take this out, by the way. There's just four 9 sixteenths. Uh, nuts on the end there and then you can pull the axles out of each end. This is a little funky from what I'm used to with Chevys because normally you just pop the cover off a Chevy rear end. This one the, the cover is actually the gear set as well. Yeah. Take us through what we look for when we're looking at a rear end to see if it's So when you get one you want to spin bearings and see what they sound like um, these ones kind of, did you hear that? <laughs> they kind of clinkety clack. Clinky clacky clacky. We don't like that. We like a nice smooth bearing. Uh, so we heard that one before we disassembled it, disassembled it, and the customer didn't really know. He was just given the parts with the car, so he didn't know what was the issues inside, if they were good or not. So we said, well, we'll tear into it and make sure all the ring and pinion are good and the bearings. And it's not a bad idea to freshen those up if you need to. So bearing kits, they're not too expensive. It's the ring and pinion and all the labor attached to that setup. Because you got to get backlash right or else you can get some whining and it's not fun. So we uh, took it apart. Did some uh, spin tests, see if we could hear anything. We, we heard stuff. So we're going to do all the bearings. Uh, we started looking at the gears, the faces and the backsides of them. We did find some chips out of the pinion. There's a chip here, and actually, the tip of this one is actually broken off. So, it's a good idea to replace them. You can't, I guess, there's a difference between can't. We talk about this all the time. You, you shouldn't just replace a pinion or a ring. You should do them in a set so they're a matched gear set. Because I can do what I want. <laughs> but I shouldn't. I really shouldn't. So you look for pitting, anything that can cause noises. Um, there's some signs of it starting to happen. You can see some kind of little spots that are starting to pit. So yeah, I think the biggest thing on this is the, the teeth are starting the, to break. The teeth are starting to break. You're, you have ends breaking. You also have these contact points. Um, it's really hard to focus, but that's why Chris put it. Yeah, click that. Clip. No, wrong one. Is it right there? Yeah. Do, oh. we need, do we need a flashlight? It's broken, trust us. <laughs> uh, so that's the main reason we took this apart. Uh, you can spin the bearings on the end of the axle as well, but the bearing sets, you get a bearing set to rebuild one of these, it should come with those bearings as yeah, well. It should come with everything that you need. Okay. So that's, uh, it is super easy to take apart. Uh, again, four nine sixteenths bolts to get the uh, axles out and then just uh, these 9 16 bolts around the rear end and then just hammer it till it comes off. Yeah. Get some screwdrivers to get between. Hammer it <laughs> till it gets off. Wait, what? <laughs> so, uh, update on Sway. She's getting some body work done. Let's take a look. 
take a look. Just blending. Just blendy blick blend blend blender. Just just blending. We're getting, we're getting real close to priming her. We've done all the blending on the side scoops, the wheel wells, the upper scoops, and also the rockers down here. So uh, everything's coming right along. We're Next step. Real close to priming. Gotta finish filling in this little um, gap up here and then up at the front on the A pillars. And it'll be pretty darn close. Pretty darn close, tell you what. I'm excited for this one. To priming. Pretty close to priming. Then we meander over to Mabel. Same thing here. Um, put some body filler on. I mean, this is a this is a lot of sanding involved. Um, you guys are going to see kind of this black spray paint over the top. It's called a guide coat. Uh, Chris, tell us what is awesome about a guide coat when so you're doing body So a guide work. coat, when you're looking at a panel, you may think that it's straight or relatively straight. I did this before that one became a, a fastback. I did it to the quarter panel and I actually found like 10 dings that you wouldn't have seen unless you did it. So what you do is you spray it over like you did, like you can see here on the, the cowl and the A-pillar. That's how it goes on and then you start sanding going back and forth with the block sander and you'll see where the low spots are and the high spots as well. If you come over onto the driver's side, you can see some there. The and you have to do this with a block sander because otherwise it kind of defeats the purpose because yeah. your sandpaper will... So you want as long as you can get onto the panel that'll conform. So get a big so. block sander. Uh, it's a straight edge basically. So. You know, if you're sanding, it's easy to do this with mm -hmm. just like your bare hand. But if you're using a block sander, it's going to keep it straight. And then we get to spots right here. And this is what the guide coat does because it passes over. And even as minor as it is, just like right here, that's a very minor low. It still finds them so you can fix them. So right now we have, you know, a few lows right here in the front, which is pretty typical. And talk about uh, when metal's showing, it's a high spot. Yeah, so metal, when it starts showing up before any of the other primers, so like right here, this spot is actually higher than the primer on the side or even this low spot. It may not be a lot, but it's slightly higher. So, and with the guide coat, again, um, I mean, you can get it at AutoZone or, I don't know. I don't know, I got mine off of East, well, Amazon. So, guide coat. Um, comes in spray cans or you can get what they call a powder that actually is kind of like a shoe polish can and you actually put it on there and pat it on that actually goes farther for your money so that's what we got next looking good so far moving on from Mabel yeah we're missing a car in here we have one off to the sandblaster right now because I don't want to climb under cars with and do sandblasting anymore. This is our new toy. It's our new rotisserie from Auto World. Or Auto, Auto World? World, really? Auto Whirler. Auto Twirler. Auto Twirler. Vanna White. <laughs> uh, I don't know how to Vanna. <laughs> That's good. What do I do with that? Was, that was really good. Do like a little. <laughs> okay, there you go. Cool. <gasps> Auto Twirler. Made Bradley. In the U.S. of A. This is actually a... Uh, oh, in Logan. Logan. We went up to Logan to get this bad boy. Uh, rotisserie. Main benefits of a rotisserie. And it's locked up right now. But uh, this is actually... It can lift all the way up to here. And then we can actually spin the car all the way around. Mm -hmm. So if you're trying to do uh, sandblasting, if you're... Uh, you even paint on it. Wanting to paint, if you want to do the undercoating... It just makes everything a ton easier. You do have to take off all the suspension bits for it, etc. And depending on the rotisserie that you get, sometimes you'll need uh, like an extra accessory, like the uh, this is the Mustang kit from Auto Twirler. Uh, so you were mounted basically on the bumper mounts here, and then in the back, it's a little bit of a tight squeeze for the camera. But maybe if I open up a door. Get some Mount it to the rear shackle. So we took the leaf springs off and it mounts to that rear uh, shackle. And then we can actually jack this up 
uh, pretty damn high, to be honest with you. And once you balance it, you can just go ahead and spin it. I'm not going to do it right now because it's already locked down. Uh, we're actually going to have this towed on the rotisserie. Close that a little bit. We're going to have this towed on the rotisserie, on a flatbed, uh, to the sandblaster so that they can take this apart. The main reason that we wanted to put this on a rotisserie and blast it is because we're going to be going through this whole damn thing. This is a complete restoration, and we need to know where all the holes are. And with just sanding or uh, grinding, sometimes it's, it's really hard to find all the spots that really the rust has gotten to. There's going to be a ton of spots on this car um, that need replacing or patching, etc., but it's way, way easier to start from a freshly uh, blasted car to see exactly what's up. <laughs> what's up? So, yeah, that's where we're at, kids. And we have room for activities in here now. Yeah. Since there's a car gone. Now we'll have two cars gone. We'll have so much more room. Oh, yeah, Chevelle back there. Oh, so we'll edit that out later. Sitting there. <laughs> <laughs> So, what else is going on? Um, right. Waiting on metal for three conversions. Yeah, waiting on metal. Always waiting on parts. COVID's been crazy. If you guys want us to do a restoration, uh, if you're doing a restoration... Ah! Sorry, tripod's getting a little crazy. Uh, if you're wanting to do a restoration of your own, be aware. Dude, metal, glass... Fiberglass, especially, especially. Glass, fiberglass. Um, it's back ordered. It's super back ordered, and it's super hard to get. So get your hands on it whenever you can. That's what we're trying to do right now, just because we have uh, quite a few conversions going on. Next one we kick out should be uh, Sway and Mabel. Um, I'm excited to get Mabel done. What do you guys think of this color combo? I'm just, I've been showing like everybody. This. I love this like, wait. It's like a satin blue. Like a satin, blue. satin royal blue. It actually looks pretty cool before we put the guy coat on it. Yeah, this with gray. Kind of want to do that gray on something. Blue stripes. Gray, blue stripes. Cute. I don't know, man. So if you have not entered yet to win $500, it's $500. $500. Go to lostsocketgarage.com, buy a shirt. Like this? Like that. <laughs> uh, it's got something cool on the back. Uh, it's got something cool. Oh, okay, there we go. That looks sexy at 50. We also have piston clocks, <laughs> keychain holders, just a ton of different stuff. Lostsocketgarage.com or visit our Facebook store on our page. So if you're on our page, just click on store. Every $5. Gets you one entry, you can win 500 bucks. Put it towards a restoration, put it towards gas. That's like a tank and a half of gas yes, now. seriously. Something? Oh, it's nuts. Uh, tell your friends about us. If you know other gearheads, like old cars, have them follow us um, on the Facebook as well as YouTube, Lost Socket Garage. We actually made a new Instagram because they wouldn't let us switch over. Instagram's being a pain in our ass. So we actually have a Lost Socket Garage Instagram. So just go to Instagram, type in Lost Socket Garage. Garage. It's a lot of typing, but not many letters. <laughs> and uh, follow us on all the social medias. This is what it looks like. Have we posted stuff to it? Yeah. I've posted one post to so it. Can we, can we take a... Yeah, let's, let's do a, One whole post? One whole post. This is what it looks like, guys. <laughs> That's horrible. I can't see that. <laughs> I know. Where's your camera? Is it over here? Oh, it's, it's right there. Right there. Oh, you had it before you put your finger there. Oh, sorry. Is that better? Okay, this is getting <laughs> out of control. Just lost soccer garage, man. And then bam. Little dude running. Has a soccer. has a picture of Blade that's at the sand blasters. Yeah. Can't wait to get that back from the sand blasters. That's a couple of weeks out though. Uh so until next time we're gonna keep grinding here. Feel free to stop by the shop and say what's up. Let us know if you need parts. Um, we have all the information on all the parts that we're using on all these restorations. All the tools we have. Just hit us up. We're happy to help. Uh, until next time. Stay classy. Stay classy.
That's like, is that stay true? cool. Stay, stay cool. It's hot as balls. Hey, it's only 95 today. Oh, M-G. It's only 95. <laughs> See ya!